BAM! This is gonna be part one of the food review series that I've been recently doing on TikTok. And the video starts now! This is my hey favorite guys, there's some lunch. more questions that I a do a review of this video. So I'm gonna very check it out. Lunch. Okay, already right off the bat. Like I said, right off the bat, take your pasta, put it in beautiful poaching liquid, some nice salt, some nice pepper. If you want to add some basil, garlic, put it all in that water, it's gonna be raw pasta with ingredients inside. This can be good. Cilantro, raw hot dogs. What the fuck are these people doing? Salsa, flour. Okay, basically, I know what they're gonna do. Why I said I knew right away what she was doing, as soon as I saw the flour, I thought she's going to use it as a thickening agent, meaning she's going to want to skip some time instead of reducing the sauce naturally. She wants it done right away. The turn off for this is going to be like one of those fucking frozen meals that t looks and tastes like shit. Let's see, let's see if I'm right. Yeah, I'm pretty much right. Didn't I freaking tell you? You, you can't have optimum pasta like that. It's all mush. It's gonna be all mush. Oh yeah, add mozzarella like it's gonna make this any fucking better, man. Oh, disgusting. These people, they try and cut corners to make a meal and it ends up being fucking shit. That looks like a fucking pile of crap on a dish. What the hell is that? Thanks, guys, for review. Okay, I know I'm gonna be okay. getting some shit I'm here for another food probably review. from the Italians about this video, but oh, um, no. it's not a good don't start. hate it till you Honestly, I'm freaking scared at this point. You try it, alright? This Burgetti. is called spaghetti. I made this shit the up. What the fuck is that? Tortilla, salt, garlic. Okay, tortilla. Spaghetti oh my bolognese. god. <laughs> I really legit did lose my freaking mind when I saw that. I've done that before! Okay, in theory, this should be a really shit idea. It's actually really, really good if done properly. Like, I made my ragu with a blade roast and little tiny potatoes. Oh my god. Now, this recipe is not like set in stone or anything. Basically, what I do is I take onions and I shred it down with the grater. I also grate some garlic. Bam, bam. I put it in the pan. Nice and freaking hot, okay? And I do that just until it starts to change color. Because if you do, after that, it's going to burn. Next, you're going to deglaze it with whatever liquid you want. I usually use wine. And in most cases, I usually use blade roast or any meat, literally, that's on sale. You just want to have that consistent, fatty kind of flavoring in your ragu. Now, some people are going to say, uh, do you flour your meat, cook your meat first? It doesn't fucking matter when it's in a sauce. Why does it matter? Because all the, the, the liquids that are in the meat are going to expel anyway within your sauce. So it doesn't really matter. And you kind of want it to be all, like, sp spread out and smashed together. So you're going to let that reduce for a couple of hours, and the secret to this is very close to uh, the original bolognese recipe. Add cinnamon. Add your aromatics. It's going to make it freaking sexy. Anyways, back to the video. Oh, it's perfect. This should not be a good idea, but it's actually really good. It's like the perfect chef meal. When you're like really lazy and you want something to eat. So you can smother it with your marinara. You don't even Parmesan need to do that. On top. Mine was Probably fucking like dripping sauce. No, no, like, Sprinkle. okay. Good idea, buddy. Like, like, 8 on 10, man. Awesome. Good idea. I hope you guys like what you saw. If you did, hit the subscribe button in the corner and hit the bell for all my videos that are becoming in the future. If you have any suggestions on reviews that you would like me to do, write it in the comments, and I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.